Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Hello. I'm back. I'm sick. And, uh, we are chilling with Chloe. And our clothes. Okay. These are mine, yeah? Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. Why? See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hall. Oh, we're getting Chloe's clothes. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hmm. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. Mm. I'm not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I Let's go. Kiss me now. Let's go. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Who oh, isn't? Consequences. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Heh. <laughs> Coward. Alright. I'll be taking your clothes. Your motorcycle. And something else I forgot. Hmm. Looking sick, Max? A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Um. Uh, Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. Hmm. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? You look, it, it fits you well. But it doesn't fit you well, if that makes sense. Alright, Joyce, I'm coming. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. <gasps> Kate? It's like when we were kids here. Awesome. Always leaving the light on. I can't even turn it off. Choice. Do you know that I'm here? Do you care? I don't personally care. What you making? Speak, boy. Joyce. Rachel. Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I thought we were similar in terms of personalities, as Chloe would say. Uh, I had your eggs and bacon, so I want pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would erase each other to grab them from a stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. Hoo-hoo. We making cereal? With eggs? Wait, what? I didn't listen. I just heard milk. And I saw cereal, so I was like, oh, we're making cereal. But no, eggs don't go into cereal. Unless it does, in America. I don't now know. For the mother's milk. What? What did you say? Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. I'm sorry, I, I just heard milk and um, eggs. Okay, eggs. I just said eggs. Clearly, I'm sick. 
Uh, X, 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 X. <laughs> X, where you at? Where we, where are the eggs? Please, can you help me get this bird out of here? Oh, <gasps> amazing. The bird still lives here. Are the eggs there? Are the eggs like outside? Is this an egg? I can't see my microphone is in the way. I would like to go into the refrigerator. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. That's cool, but I think it has eggs in it, so I would like to get some eggs. Eggs. <clears throat> Thank you. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Get them ingredients. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce. But we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Also, I'm grounded. What the hell? I can't get out? What? Uh, I mean, I don't have really the rights to be jealous. But because it's true, then I have to say. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? That's kind of messed up. Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what? A century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila. A breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. You needed eggs for pancake. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just not following anything anymore. Mm. You said you told me to sit down and be humble. No problem. <laughs> Give me those pancakes. Thank you, Mom. Thank you so much, Joyce. Is that I'm butter? Never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> Where's Chloe? Where is Chloe? Where's that bird? Hmm. What's she looking? Good looking. be famous for this what do you mean eat it up champ it's disrespectful to not eat it all that no one will eat this if you don't seeing you again ah oh, made me remember so much I know these photos don't measure up to your work Max my favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. What do you mean? Wow. Can I see those? I totally remember that day. Hell yeah. 
I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. Mm. He had his car out right after this, and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? <laughs> it's not always about you. Chloe, please. But this time it was. It's too early to start picking a fight. Feed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Was that a plan? Was this a part of her plan? No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Hmm. What about this? Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. I don't think so. But we can try. Worst hacker ever. Exactly. Quit. <laughs> Quit your job. Quit this entire operation. Uh, what about this book? Maybe it has personal Looks meaning like to you. Has read this a lot. What did he learn? I don't know. There's no code in it though. So who cares? <gasps> he takes a self. He takes selfies as I well. Could try the license number for the password. I doubt it, but. Uh, you know. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. No. How did that pull? Oh, <gasps> this might be it. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Do you think so? I don't know. Do you think David is that wholesome? Tape. Obviously, David's parents oh. care about him. That date might be a good password. We have a lot of options. Let's just say that. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. I think David was and has a very soft side, but we just can't see it. That's okay. What? I could search. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. Ooh. The early days. It might be a useful password. Hmm. I think we're getting close. Oh dear. Let's just try. Such wrong. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. No, I didn't. What you talking about? What you talking about? Hell yeah. Score. Max the hacker strikes again. Told you. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. <gasps> but why? 
Why does David care? Because Rachel is tied with Chloe and instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Drugs and drugs. Oh my god. David, have some this perspective. Is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Oh my god. Come on. All right. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Well, now people know I'm nosy. Hey, Taylor. Hmm, that's cool. Hey, Chloe, uh, things are kind of messed up. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Who you could have done sure that? It was black whale students. Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. They might be closer than you think. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? I mean, I can't side with David. David is a bit too paranoid and he's always wrong about things. But I don't know, I know just that he has a soft side to him and he's trying to do his best. But, you know, it's not good what he's doing at the same time. But I know that his heart is at the right place. But I gotta side with Chloe because David is not making a lot of sense right now. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David, paid for and in my name. You oh. know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. It's International Woman's Day. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I mean, he told her a new one as well, so it's like, hmm. I mean, you kind of went in on him a bit too much. But, uh, I mean, you got the point across. Maybe he couldn't have taken it any other way. He needs a harsh, like, reality check even though i think you went too far hey joyce you wanna be alone max don't beat yourself up david earned this all by himself that is true yeah. mm -hmm. comprende Cap capisce okay are you happy now that i did something 
I didn't do it for you, but I didn't really have a good choice there. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. I can? Wait. Alright. We good? Okay, I'll leave this awkward space. I'll be going. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. Frankie. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Mm -hmm. Shitballs. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Do I got this? Do I really? What do I do? I haven't seen my pop in a while. Or at all. Hmm. You doing? More nasty shit. All right. So I'm gonna go into Frank and talk to him. Hey, Frank. About your RV. I Good want Lord. in. Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Hell yeah. Mm. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them, and you look like ass. <laughs> You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <laughs> in other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Do we have more? Right. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Can I use this information somehow? Hey, you just told me not to talk to you, but I kind of want to talk to you. You're so charming. Get in. There she is. Soup. Thanks, officer. I'm glad. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. 
I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? Him and that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Maybe let's work on the good side what of him. <laughs> you act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Take the keys and rewind. That's it. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. <laughs> Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! No, thank you. I will take those keys and eat it too. Okay, we uh, never had this conversation. And we're good. Key Let's gone. go. Now back to Chloe. Mm hmm. Chloe, how are you doing? Victoria? Hold on. I can do it. Alyssa, watch out! Quit thinking, Max. Max the rescue. Chloe. Oh, you gave up? Oh, you found something. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. Come on. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. I can't rewind time either because the dog will be inside with me. Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. Huh? At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. Let's see. Rachel. You scope the area while I hack Life. his computer for info. Where is the... What is this? Frank, Frank must have a reason to keep a police raider on your by. 
Mm-hmm. Show me. Presto, Chloe's gun. Should I give it back to her? Uh... I don't know. I feel like it just causes more trouble. But at the same time, it is our gun. It's our gun. And maybe he'll come back with the gun. So it'll be a problem. have a terrible present for you. Ugh, an ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. I mm. might regret this, but I can't let Frank hurt someone. Exactly. Another vent. Oh, so okay, close. This vent is loose. I need oh. something to pry it open. Knife. Of course. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Almost. Up and up. My blade will open any portal. Show me. Oh, man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B, hope you eat this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night, I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you. And poor Pompey though. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here and I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. Uh, I don't think Chloe will like this. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. They all just have struggles and they stick together like... Like glue. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. Mm-hmm. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Right. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Ooh. Frank. That was not cool what you did, and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me, and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that way, and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo, <sighs> and we don't look back. I care about you, us, so maybe we need to break our routine. Uh, you had me until the Leo part. What about this other vent? Show me. It doesn't matter? Okay. Chloe. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! What you doing? Was she riding backwards?
Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck uh oh. I would say grow up, but you would just... It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Oh my god. Your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Oh my god, what is happening now? Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Daddy. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crickets. I'm 18 years like old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Time travel. That's true. So wow, this eggs? looks Don't very similar. Question, chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom is away. Chloe is not... Bitchin'. That's crazy. Are there any surveillance cameras here? Okay, I can't even go there. Oh my god. Hello. Oh. Hey honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. 
Whoa, it's all blurry here. Like I can't step out of the photographic rounds. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. I don't know where they are. Yet. Show me. Show me. William. Uh -huh. You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. You're both wrong. All right, we're good. How many eggs? Mom said it depends. Cap. <laughs> That's true. Score. Don't you dare question the chef. Throw it out. Like you're the real cook here. I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. You didn't see shit. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and... And it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. like I'm playing God. Who am I to play God? Would I do it? If I had the abilities? I don't know. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that we're getting Max. Never Maxine. I know, sorry, Mad Max. You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Not surprised. At all. Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. <laughs> oh man.
Well, well, well. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Butterfly effect. It's basically the butterfly effect. Uh, the movie. You change something. Some things get better, but then other things get worse, and it always gets worse in other ways. And it's never a perfect, a perfect um, life for anyone. If someone had suffered, and then you remove that suffering, then someone else will suffer. That's the butterfly effect. And... I don't know which one is even better. To be honest. I remember this being a bit different. Maybe the music is a bit different, or the scenes. Something felt different, I gotta rewatch the original. And compare it to the remaster. Maybe I'm just uh, remembering things wrong. Yeah. I I got a <clears throat> I got a pause here. Thank you for watching this masterpiece. May you have a great and wonderful life. Farewell. <laughs>